Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I butchered that so hard. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. So we have a booster box part two that we are doing right now. This is not what we opened in the last uh, booster box, or in the last part. This is what we opened up in the booster box that I recorded, but I'm not going to be uploading because I didn't like it. We got Palisad GX, Caesar GX, Latios, Secret Rare Electrode, or Hyper Rare. People call it Hyper Rare. I call it Secret Rare. Articuno GX, full art, which I love. Uh, Blaziken GX, which I don't. And Latios. I did also get an Apricorn Maker, which I put into a deck somewhere that I don't know where I put it. I'll find it later, but I just grabbed these really quick. Uh, Apricorn Maker full art uh, trainer. So, last part, if you didn't go watch it, go check it out. I will be talking about it. So, go watch it. Right now. Stop what you're doing here. Go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. Go do that. Get H-Bomb some revenue, please. Watch the ads. Click on all the ads. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Uh, unless you want to. But we are not doing too hot. Little spoilers. The first part was a little underwhelming. By little, I mean really bad. We pulled one GX and it was a trash GX too. Wismer, Trico, Trico, two Tricos, two Wismers. Wow. Okay, now I don't know how un how likely that is. Voltar, Hustle Belt, Oricorio. I have seen people play Oricorio. Zappy Pom Poms is pretty good in uh, spread decks for damage. Oricorio, Tropius, Reverse is Stun Poison. Sounds like Cacnea. Spinarak. Yeah, that's close. Our rare is. This sounds like Baltoy? Why, why did I think Baltoy? It's a rare. Oh my god. Okay, Deoxys. It is not a hollow. That's just meh. It's a meh card. Can I open this one from the top? I might be able to. But we were really, really looking for Rayquaza GX. That is... If I don't pull it from this booster box, I'm probably just going to buy, buy four. I really like Rayquaza GX. Like, A... It's a good deck on its own. B, you could tech it into Tapu Bulu, which I play so much of. Which, I, if I tech it, it's a Psychic Energy. If I tech it into Tapu Bulu, I only need one. But still, maybe two. I don't think you need two. Torchic, it doesn't hit anything for weakness. And it gets destroyed by Gardevoir. I don't know. Love Disc, Trico, another Trico. Life Herb, Sky Pillar, Torkoal. Our reverse is... See that? Weeping Bell, dang it. Our rare is... Uh... Sceptile? Delmise, dang it. Uh, we're not doing hot. This is actually frustrating me a little bit. Last side, or the other side of the booster box, we only got five white codes, which means five hollows are better. We did get the prison stars though. If the odds are like uh, right here, we should get about four ultra rares on this side of the box and one prism star. That's what we should get. That would make it, that would make it like an average box. Right now we're below average, which sucks. Shop it, Mudkip, Bagan, <laughs> Grow Vile, Lantern, Shalgon, Shagan, Energy Re Oh, that's our reverse. Energy Recycle System. Put an energy card from your discard pile. That's not a bad card. I just think Energy Recycle is better. Our rare is. Oh, God dang it. Another. Another uh, Clay Doll. Yep. Nah. I'm not pleased with this box right now. This box is not pleasing me. Please me, box. Make me a happy boy. I've never been a happy boy before in my life. Um, like I said last part, I'm pretty sure we're still missing eh, one kind of one pr uh, Prism Star card for my collection. Actually, I think we're missing Jirachi. Okay, no, that confirmed it for me. We are missing Jirachi. I don't have Jirachi Prism Star. So we're looking for Jirachi. And then I think there's one more Prism Star that I just don't know about. C dot, Beldum, Shuppet, Mudkip. I feel like there's two Mudkips too. Plusle, Feliper, Soul Rock. Sorry, let me get a little bit more organized there. Soul Rock. Our reverse is a Swalot. I didn't see that before. And our rare is God, Cat Kick. Search for friends. What is it, like Delcaddy? Oh, my, oh, and it's a Hollow. Oh, come on. Are you any good? Hang on. Okay, so it's a stage one. Search for friends. Wow, I need that ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put two supported cards. It's basically a Lusamine. Eh. Mm. I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, would it be good in a mill deck? Yes. Is it a good card? No. 
Maybe it is. It's a stage one, so it's not that hard to get out. It's a card that you want later in like a matchup when you're like milling your opponent to death. And it's like, oh, they're almost dead. Let me grab like... Actually, Team Rocket's handiwork is gone, isn't it? Team Rocket's handiwork is just completely gone, so... I don't know. I, I think Lusamine is just better. Oh, Swallow, you're in the wrong pile. There you go, you go over there. Torchic, Metatite, Chinchow, Gulpin. What are you gulpin? Lasia? Lasaya? Oh my god. Oh my god. Lasia? Something like that? Beast Ball? Switch? A reverse is be something good. Ludicolo. There we go. At least it's a hollow. So that's a good card. A rare is I mean, honestly, Bridger Rock is a pretty good card. The Enhanced Stomp is pretty good. I'm just frustrated right now. This cost me like $100. Something be good in here, would you? Just be above average. Give me the good stuff. I want the good stuff. That's what I'm asking for. One, two, three. It's a fairy energy. I don't know if there's any fairy GXs in this set. God dang it. I keep getting out of frame. Uh, Wingle. Trico. Voltorb. Sneasel, C dot. There's two C dot arts in here confirmed. Super scoop up, Masquerain, Bill's maintenance. Our reverse is. This sounds like a rock rough, but I'm gonna say it. it I don't think there's Geo dude in this set. I don't know. This sounds like a rock rough. Larvitar. Okay, that sounds like a Larvitar dude. That makes sense. And our rare is. God, stupid, stupid Grumpig. Go away. Ah. Okay, there is confirmed. <laughs> you guys can't see it. I did hide one behind the thing. Not on purpose, but I did hide it. There we go. That makes me feel a little bit better that I see one more pack over there. <laughs> and honestly, I have opened booster boxes before where there's been one hidden behind there. Like the little flat thing th back there. And twice, it's been a GX. Once it was a Lola G uh, Ninetales GX. The other one was... It was another Guardians Rising. I feel like it was a Alolan Golem. <laughs> The Alolans always hide behind there. The chickens get scared. Okay, I didn't see the color code. I haven't been seeing the color code, so I've been doing a decent job. I have been making myself way too blurry, though. We have Ball Toy. Oh my god, on the thing, too. Beldum. That's the good Beldum, I believe. Lotad. Sea Dot. Skitty. Oh, there is an Underground Expedition in here. <gasps> She's really cute on here, too. Look at the bottom four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Put the other cards from the bottom. I think it's a good card. It's, it's not like a fossil excavator card, now that I read it. It's, it has nothing to do with fossils, other than the art and the name, I guess. But, yeah. Fossil, or <laughs> Minior. I was about to say fossil. Combuskin, or reverse, is Dust Devil Skull Bash. It sounds like Cranidos or Rampardos. Pupitar. God dang it. A rare is, come on! This is Banat. Yep. Banum. Banum. Am I getting chipped out of this booster box? I'm going to have to file a complaint if I don't get something good. File a complaint. Give, send me a Rayquaza GX Hyper Rare, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. Love you at Pokemon TCG Company. You guys are amazing, but you need to treat me better on my booster boxes. <laughs> please, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Sir Skit, Onyx. I will say Pokemon does a great job with their booster boxes, but their other, like, uh, boxes with, like, promos in it, they do not take good care of their promos, and it upsets me. Uh, Fampy. Origorio, Pupitar, Fisherman, that's another good card. Our reverse is, oh, hey, we we hit the cycle for this this card. Oh, wait, no, this was an Underground Expedition. I saw, I don't know what I saw. I thought I saw four. Lucia and our, oh, thank you. Our rare is, is this Articuno? This sounds like Articuno. It is Articuno. Like, I love Articuno, one of, e easily my favorite bird, legendary, but my god, they're not a good card. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn you may switch it with your active Pokemon. If you do, move any number of water energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Ice Wing does 130 damage. Cold Crush GX discard all energy from both active Pokemon. Underwhelming. I mean, you could combo it with Acerolas. Super scoop ups, I guess. Uh, so that if one takes damage, you can pick them back up. Or you could play down another Articuno GX. That guy goes to the bench with no energies on him. Acerola him. 
that just keep repeating the pattern, turn in and turn out. Don't think it's a good card, though. I want it to be a good card. I love Articuno. I'd love to test it. Oh, I didn't see what color energy it was or what type of energy it was. Dang it. I have failed. Electrike, Torchic, Onyx, Sneasel, Bagon. I think there's two Bagons, too. Dunsparce. Like I said, Dunsparce is actually a good card. Last Chance Potion, Swalot. Our reverse is Spear Dive. This sounds like a Deoxys. Yep. Oh, <gasps> we got something. Psychic, weak to dark. Bayonet? Two month. Bayonet! Okay, Bayonet's actually a good card. He was one of the top. He was in one of the top decks for uh, Worlds. I haven't seen him since. Standard rotation has, has changed. But still a good card. Shady move. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may move one damage counter from one Pokemon to another. So if you like attach a Rainbow Energy and Bayonet's your active Pokemon, the one damage you take from attaching a Rainbow Energy, you could just move from one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's pretty good. Um, Shadow Chant does 30 plus 10 for each supporter in your discard pile. You could do maximum 130 damage, which is good for one energy. Very good for one energy. That's like a Glissopod. Uh, and Tomb Hunt, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. That is basically, uh, that Tomb Hunt GX is basically a reprint of De uh, Decidueye's uh, uh, GX move. Which was a good, which was a good GX move. But Decidueye had a better ability and more HP, but it was a stage two. So there is ups and downs. Ooh, I think I just saw something. I saw Darkness, which makes me think it's the Prism Star. Lightning Energy, and they're a little bet too in the middle. Maybe a Prism Star and a GX? A secret Rare, Hyper Rare? Vampy, Electric, Torchic, Beast Ball. I think I messed up. Switch, Grovile, our reverse. No, I did mess up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Our reverse is Scyther. Did I? Our rare is. Oh, it is a GX. Search your deck for up to six items, reveal them, and put them into your card. Hyper Fang. Is this a Lolan Radicate? There's an Alolan Radicate GX in this set? 40 times. Discard up to two cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you've discarded in this way. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> it's a free attack that you just get to... If you want to discard stuff from your hand to do more damage, Alolan Eradicate GX is a 200 HP, a free attack, so you don't you can attach energies to other Pokemon while you're doing this. Hyper Fang does 150 Felpa Coins. If Tails' this attack does nothing, that's a terrible attack. Item Maniac is a good ability, though. It's a very good ability. Okay. Or a very good GX. All right, so we've hit three GXs out of this side of the box. None of them are Rayquaza GX, but that's a lot better than the last side. If we could only hit, if we hit like any Hyper Rare, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think there's any like Hyper Rare that I'd be like, uh, maybe Electrode I would be uh, about because I don't think that's a good card and I already have it. So maybe that would be it, but I'd still be happy that I got one regardless. So, cause I could trade it if I really want to. Focus, thank you. Fire a gun. Onyx, Bagon. Bellsprout, Vampy, Minin, Copycat, nice, that's always a good card. Loudred, I would love, oh, Reverse Bagon, I didn't know that was a reverse. I would still love a full art copycat. I really want a full art copy. Oh my god, okay, was that three GXs in a row? Oh my god, it's Shift Tree. It's Shift Tree. Yes! Okay, that's awesome. This is what I was looking for. Perplex, 40 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon's now confused. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I, I mean, like, it could be good. It's it's not good. But if you're, like, falling behind your opponent and you force your opponent to be confused and attack into confusion, and if you hit the 50-50, that gives you such a big tempo swing. But Extra Sensory is the main attack for this. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this deck does 90 more damage. So 180 damage for three energies. Choice Band makes it 210, which is knocking out basically majority of the meta right now uh gardevoir it's 20 damage short so if you want to throw in kakui that's not bad especially because extra sensory you're trying to get the amount but this is paired very well with uh zoroark so you can thin out your deck and judge too uh den of inequity 
I don't know how to say that word. I'm just going to stop there. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. Your opponent's Pokemon shuffle all cards attached to it into their deck. That's not bad. That's a nice little tech card. Okay. All right. This is the site that I guess I should have started off with. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't have. We've hit four GXs, and we have a lot of packs remaining. I mean, so now we've hit six, six white codes. Or no. The six ultra rares that aren't prism stars. I don't count the prism stars as ultra rares, even though they kind of technically are. But they replace uh, reverses, not the uh, rares. So they don't really count as like white codes or anything like that. So I don't count those. But yeah, we're doing well. The box picked up. Although the GXs aren't the best, Shiftry makes up for that quite a bit. But I really want Rayquaza. Lasia, Lasia. I don't know how to say her name. Oh, watch it reverse. I didn't even realize we're at the reverse. And our rare is Manectric. Are you good? If you go second, and if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may have... Oh. You may play it face down as your active Pokemon or on your bench. Face down? What does that mean? It's not face up. That's weird. All right. Part... Or we're still on part two. I just had to stop recording. Ah. I got a hair on my mouth. Meh. Meh. Not fun stuff. Um, but we're still on part two. I don't know why I was like, all right, part two. It's like, we're still on that. It didn't really change much for you, but I just had to stop recording for a second. One, two, three. Oh, these cards are a little bit bent. This might be a good card. Uh, please. It's not as bent as the last one was, so I don't think it is, but, or the last GX that we had. C dot, Wingle, Spoink, and we did get very lucky during this. How? Matang, our reverse is not this one. What are you guys thinking? Our reverse is, wow, Blot. C dot. Bellsprout. All right, it is. Oh my God, it is. It's another just normal GX. Is this is Caesar. Assembly GX. This attack does 30 more damage. Oh, it's Stack Attacka. Nice, this is actually a really good card. A oh, hell. A oh, hell. Wow, we are actually getting very lucky on this side. Is that five normal GXs? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on. That is. Where were, why could you guys be like spread apart? Like you were like in a row as well. Like I feel like I pulled all five of you within the last like eight packs or something insane like that. But not even like a normal, like I'm, I'm not complaining, but like not one of them was like a full art, which feels like it would, that makes sense because it's like, or it makes sense that it, it would have made more sense if there was a full art in there because it's like, oh, they throw full arts in there randomly. I don't expect to get five GXs that quickly back to back to back to back to back, 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 back whatever I'm done complaining Larvitar Wismer but I do feel like we're gonna get one more like full art or something like that in this box or at least maybe someone's calling me who's calling me stop calling me last chance potion Swalla oh Swalla is just a uncommon wow underground expedition wow focus please thank you our reverse is light punch this sounds like Cacnea or Cacturn yep Cacnea and our rare is dang uh, another Deoxys. Yep. I mean, we've only pulled one hollow on this side. So we've gotten six white codes on this side. All of them were in the middle. Wow. Okay. Yeah, all of them were in the middle. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this booster box? This is so random and just like... I, I guess the correct word is like frantic. Like it's all over the place. Steel energy. That means we're going to get a stack attack. A stack of taco. We got a Beldum. Whalmer, that's the... Oh, no, there's Scizor as well. Spinarak, that was the only, like, steel type I could think of. Slackoth, I think there's two Slackoths too. Apricorn Maker, nice. Donvan, Scyther. Our reverse is... Ditch and Draw. Electric? Mining. Oh, we got something, I think. Oh, my God, it's a Hyper Rare. Please, Rayquaza. Please, Rayquaza. Please, Rayquaza. It's got no weakness. What the hell has no weakness? Two retreat cost. Life trick. Heal all damage done from this Pokemon. Oh, it's Mr. Mime. I kind of like this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is such like a cool like hyper rare. Wow. Breakdown. For each card in your opponent's end, put one damage counter on their active Pokemon. It's a really bad attack. That 
That's a really bad attack. Life trick. Heal all damage from this Pokemon. That's a really bad GX attack, too. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon. It's a really bad card. I'll be honest here. What might make this card good in the future, not right now, is if this card is still in standard and Choice Band is gone. With Choice Band being so common in the meta and him being a GX makes it such a bad ability. I mean, it's a fun card. I'm going to be honest here. But it's like, oh, you could use Field Blower. It's like, it, it doesn't matter. He's going to get one shot by anything. He's got 150 HP. So he's not a good card, but I just, I really like the art on this. It actually looks like he's got like a barrier in front of him. Like he's trying to get out of the card. I think this is like my favorite art out of the entire set so far. And I have like a lot of the art on this set. There's Mr. Mime. God, I wish you were playable. I really wish you were playable. <laughs> so bad. I pulled like five of him in the TCGO. Which also, if you guys want to see me open packs on the TCGO, leave comments telling me to open packs on the TCGO. It's that easy, because I'll do it. We have 36 packs here. I could buy like 20 more, because I play a lot of the TCGO, so I might as well. All right, so yeah, maybe I'll put packs on there. Mudkip, if not, I'm just going to do it off camera. Alola Rattata, Slagoth, Surskit, Slugma, Nuzleaf. I don't expect anything else anymore, honestly. Maybe a Prism Star. TV Reporter, Dunsparce, or others is... Oh, we've gotten this so many times. Grumpig, yep. I was like, I don't remember what you are, but I remember pulling you. Cartana? Yep, Cartana. Meh pack. All right, we have two remaining. We have a Jirachi and we have a Celestial Storm. Jirachi feels heavier. Gotta be honest. Just, it feels heavier. I'm telling you, it's got something good in it. Although the uh, Pokemon, I love you, Pokemon. Nintendo of America, whatever you want to call it. But fix the stupid white and green codes. I don't know why this is still a thing in your Pokemon TCG. I'll never understand why it's a thing. Like, I understand that it's like, oh, one weighs more than the other, but why not make them the same color? I don't get it. Slugma, it just ruins, like, the build-up towards a lot of people opening the packs, and it's dumb. Surskit, Sneasel, shop it up. Was it even a Surskit, or did I just say that? Mudkip, Hiker, Energy Switch, Paintbrush, Prism Star? Nope. Uh, Registeel. Nice! Ooh. Our rare is... This sounds like, uh, Lunala? <gasps> Ooh! That was a good pack! Is this, is this Lunala any good? Hang on. I'm gonna put this in the sleeve and read it. I haven't played with you yet. I haven't really even read you. If this Pokemon has any psychic energy on it, it takes 20 less damage. Okay. That's not bad. That's a good ability. Full Moon Ray, 80 plus. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Majority of the time, that'll probably be doing 120. Which hits weakness, gets destroyed by, uh, what's the, Zoroark. It's absolutely destroyed by Zoroark with weakness. And Zoroark resists him. Zoroark is too popular right now. If there's any, like, cards that are just really bad against Zoroark and you don't have a counter to Zoroark, it's just not gonna be good. Dark Energy, which means hyper rare... Alolan Raticate. That was the only dark type I could think of. I was trying to like, <laughs> I was trying to make it so like, oh, there's no dark types in here, but there is. We already pulled one. Dang it. And make it be like a hyper rare shift tree. Lure Ball, Rainbow Energy. A reverse Rainbow Energy would be awesome. Gorobis, a reverse is Sleep Poison. It's not Bellsprout. Um, I don't know. Trico. I would not have guessed that. Okay. And our rare is uh, another Registeel. 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 All right, that was still a really good booster box opening. It, it went from really bad to above average. I would say that. It's not like anything to write home about. I didn't get my Rayquaza GX that I really wanted. That's like a $25 card right now, which is why I bought the booster box. So at least if I got one, it's like that pays for 25% of my booster box, basically. Um, but we got Mr. Mime GX Hyper Rare, which I love this art. Like I said, it's not a good card, but it's I love this art. It's it's not a good card just because Choice Band's in the meta. Like, that's, that's honestly, like, strictly my reasoning behind it. It walls Zoroark if there's no Choice Band. So, throwing that out there, that's a possibility. 
Stock attack is very good with Nagandal, GX, and other uh, Ultra Beasts such as, I guess, Buzzful. But it's mainly used for Nagandal decks, and it's a good card. Shift Tree is a card that I haven't played yet, but on paper, it should be a very good card. Uh, Lunala, whatever. <laughs> Alolan Raticate, it looks like it's a fun card, I'll be honest. It looks like more of a meme card, which I'm kind of down to meme with. Um, but I don't think it's a good card. Bayonet GX, very good card. I don't know if the standard rotation fits it anymore. Maybe Bayonet, Bayonet and uh, Trash Lance will still be a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Articuno GX seems like a meme. Looks fun, though. Delcaddy, go away. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Like I said, if you want to see a um, pack opening on the Pokemon TCGO, just let me know. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't liked the video yet, be sure to like the video. Get out of here. <gasps> You're not going